Okay. Sorry, I got a little housekeeping I'm doing at the same time. It's scuffed today. It's scuffed yesterday, though, mostly. Um, I guess that was technically still this day. Not what I'm trying to say here. Fuck, I got to watch for ad, though. Because uh, that's coming, I think. Where's my... Why does it keep taking away my ad widget thing? Ugh! Twitch, I was just praising you. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. I have 48 seconds. Okay, so quick TLDR. I fucked up the stream yesterday. You're going to find out why after the ad break. Uh, but what we're going to do just to kind of like quick TLDR of what happened yesterday. Also, I had some pretty good riffs. I might try to capture those. I might not. We'll see. Um, if not, I'm probably going to edit this, some of the like commentary into my intro, actually, because I had a lot of good points, I felt like, and really encapsulated some of my motivations and stuff. Not important. Uh, going to ad break, I'll probably start playing because I did a little riff during the ad break yesterday that I thought was kind of funny. Uh, and then we'll get back and we'll we'll kind of skip around in the stream yesterday and I'll just give you the broad strokes. I only covered a few days anyway, and then we'll do some more. <laughs> Woo! Speed run. That's starting soon. Bruh. I'm so confused. What's happening right now? Oh shit, no, 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 no. Uh, Creator dashboard. Yeah. Ads manager, here we go. Oh. Ads starting soon. Oh, there it is. Okay. How do I save this? Oh, there it is. Oh, I kept missing the save button. Okay, it's actually me. It's operator error. No problem. I'm a dim. Okay. Eventually, I'm going to come in here with uh, some, some riffs. I'm still setting up too. Oh, oh shit. shit. Here it is. <laughs> One of a lot of people. I didn't think about the fact that uh the music would shut off eventually in uh, Stardew. So I guess I'll fill this time with uh exclusive content. <laughs> and by that I mean uh me rambling while I finish my pre stream ritual. Oh shit, I'm not set up actually. Hold on. Shout out to Shinny though. Shinny's you know, hit me up if you watch the VOD. I don't know why I'm I know you you guys exist because um Hold on. Well you'll be here. But yeah, hey. Uh so I know you you guys exist because I caught you. Uh and I've decided that VOD lurking is actually a thing now. Because I was like, yo, you know, hit me up if you watch the VOD. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. It was me talking. My mocking past self voice, I guess. Um, <laughs> but, uh. And only Sh Shinny kind of did. Shout out to Shinny, though. Shinny's, Shinny's one of the real ones. If it wasn't clear last video, I'll just, like, name drop Shinny right here, right now. You know who you are. Uh, and you know, I, I hope you know what you did. 
because it meant a lot. Um, my favorite story, actually, this will be the hidden content. Ooh. Um, one of my favorite stories about Twitch, um, like my personal I made it moment, was the uh, Dead Cells saga, we'll call it, where she's like, oh, I want to watch you play it, right? And uh, it's like, oh, I'll buy it. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. <coughs> and they did. Uh, what is that, Shinny? Am I giving the wrong person credit here? I hope I'm not. I'm pretty sure it was Shinny. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, bought it for me. And uh, of course, I fell in love with it, but it was just so cool that it, uh, it just meant so much. It was so validating, right? That someone was like, I want to, I want your take on this. Um, I want to see what you do with this entertainment wise, how, whatever angle you want to come at it from. Um, Cause I think that's kind of my duality is like analysis and entertainment and kind of the cross section. Right. Cause I like teaching people, but I like to make it fun cause they pay attention. Right. Okay. Exclusive content in three, two, one over. Well said past Dodging. Well said. Also, shout out to Kat, since you're here. I think I'd do it at some point. We probably won't go beat by beat, because this is already, like, taking way too long. Um, but, yeah, you were a big part of it, obviously. Um, yeah, I, I put a lot of, actually, my success on, you know, the people that were around me, and you were definitely one of the big ones. So, yeah, sincere appreciation arc. Uh, it won't end really because I, like, I don't there, there's there's certain people I don't think I'll ever be able to adequately thank um, but and you're definitely one of those Luna's another uh, shout out X Luna I know she's not here because she's uh, on Vinny's stream right now so but still she's awesome and uh, yeah I don't know I think the art was a big part of what took me internally into an area that I felt more valid. Um, so yeah. Original character here, the little bouncing boy you see, that's all cat. That's, uh, well, oh my God, that's loud. What the fuck? Oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you so much, Jesus. I forgot that I did the Sonic Ring thing as my, my bits. Oh, you're crazy, but thank you so much. Pissing balls, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, that was crazy loud. What the fuck? Sorry. Hopefully, uh, no earphone situation was going on. Look, we're scuffed, okay? We're just getting back into this. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna be hella sus for a while. But, yeah, anyway, what was I talking about? Before you blew my fucking mind, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, you know... That'll that'll actually be really nice. That gets me a good good way there towards my next payout. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, I'll just never stop. I'm just gonna thank you every time I talk to you from now on. I think that's just the way it goes. Um, <laughs> fuck. Okay, what else am I supposed to say right now? I don't even know. Uh, streamer muscles are weak. Should we let Pastage talk? I don't know. Let's see what he has to say. Actually, I think it was just me watching. Any live viewers out there? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, yeah. No one was watching, so I just didn't do another intro. All right, all right. Never mind, never mind. So let's just skip forward. I talk about what I'm going to do. It's the Egg Festival. We're actually going to mute him. Shut up, Pastage. No one cares. Uh, so, because there was no viewers, <laughs> I did a thing that will haunt me. Forever, uh, and this is why it wasn't published, is this shit. Uh, no, this is the second of the st the Stardew streams. Um, check the Discord if you want to watch the first episode. I, I put it on YouTube, and uh, I put it publicly on YouTube for once, and also, obviously, there's the VOD, whichever you prefer. Um, you didn't miss much. Because this file, I actually did a little off stream before I started streaming. So I came in at probably like a weekend or so. Uh, 
or no, it was 10 days in. And as you can see, I only went three days in in the first session. And spoiler for this little review. I mean, it is a spoiler by its very nature, though. Uh, <laughs> I basically only make three days again because I paused so much because um, I was really sick and I kept coughing and shit. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you so much. But oh, take care of yourself. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, really just pushing your your cheer dominance all the way to the fucking moon here. You like I, I feel like you're going to be the goat of this channel for years to come unless I just suddenly blow up because uh, you've watched more than anybody by a long road. You've donated more than anybody by a long road. You did the fucking art. Like you, you know, this is this is almost more your channel than mine at some point. <laughs> Jokes aside, though, uh, yeah, you know he's just rambling. Classic Tajik, right? Dude never stops fucking talking. He doesn't even play video games here. He really should just be a just chatting streamer for real. Uh, let's see. God, it took me a while, didn't it? Oh yeah, this is where I'm. I'm riffing. Um, I think about just like you know, my perspectives on Twitch and, like, uh, what it's like. Yeah, game over when you... No, seriously? Uh, oh, girl, you don't need a setup, honestly. Ah, uh, isn't that... You you could literally just turn on a mic and be more successful than me tomorrow, I'll be real. Um, Pokemon Unite, is it on mobile? Because I don't have a Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I would love to play some Pokemon Unite. Um, yeah, but I don't. I don't know if I have a method. I think it's on mobile, but I feel like it's gonna be ass because MOBA mobiles just sound like a bad idea to me. Um, I'd try it if if I could run it on my phone. Uh, if that is something you're actually interested in, we could explore that. But yeah, it would it would take some doing. Um, it, you know, you've got a better shot at just joining in on a, a another Steam game or something. Um, yeah, the controls are the part I'm worried about with the phone. He plays that little fucking shit. <sighs> All right, well. I might be mad at him for the first time ever. Not really, but I like joking about it. Um, God, it's... I, you know, I'm never actually going to get to playing the game, and I don't even care. Um, shit, what was I going to say? I'm more worried about the controls and, like, how well I'm going to um, handle it. Like, uh, yeah, I know. I almost forgot. Uh... Thank God he added me on uh, Facebook because uh, I totally thought it was um, Friday, actually. I had actually been making a mental note to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, Friday, you guys say something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'll look into it. I'll see if my phone can handle it. I, w I would give it a shot. Uh, I love Pokemon, obviously, and... Uh, I enjoy uh, I enjoy MOBAs as a concept uh, until I actually play them, of course. But that's just MOBAs. Okay. God, I I sat here for a while. What the fuck was I doing? Taj, what are you doing, bruh? Oh, it's not grabbing the specific. Oh, no. No way. Yeah, this is this is actual tragedy. Oh, it's worse than I imagined. I'm literally going to have to go through and based on my commentary, come up with bridging the gap. Oh my god. So yeah, I was so triggered. I was so fucking triggered when I realized this is about where I realized I done fucked up. 
because I look over and I notice that it's not capturing, uh, or it's still on my thing, but I, I didn't realize it was not capturing. That's what I was going to say. Oh, man, that's bad. I literally just got no footage from this besides the last. Okay, not literally, but almost no footage. Yeah, literally almost none. Because then, yeah, I realize I'm pissed for a minute, and then I switch it back. And yeah, this is actually the part that matters is like, this is where my farm ends up at. I finally get my gold parsnips and uh, I decide, you know, I was going to roll into cauliflower, but I just didn't have the money. So I bought just enough cauliflower to try to get another big one down there. Um, yeah, pretty standard stuff for me. You know me always farming. And then, yeah, I hit up the museum. Let's see, was there anything else relevant I did? I think, yeah, I finished the spring bundle. That was big. That hurts using a silver, but I just said, fuck it, get it over with. And yeah, I'm I'm livid at this point, by the way. Like I am I'm doing my best to still be like, oh yeah, ha, 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 oh well. Um, I'm so glad I didn't know what I know now that like the I thought it was just that it was all in the small display for the whole stream. Nope. It was a static image, which is even more devastating. Um But now in reflection, I mean and at the time I acknowledge this, but it's a lot easier now, obviously. Uh, you know, less emotional damage at this point. Um, I didn't really do a lot, so, you know, it's fine. Um, and while I don't want to play this file off stream anymore, per se, that might change as time goes on. Um, you know, a lot of it did happen off stream and the basic narrative is still the same. Uh, I am doing pretty standard stuff for my Stardew files. Um, it's four corners, uh, uh, because I, yeah, I just like four corners. I had some pretty fortunate stuff go on, but like nothing too crazy. Uh, yeah. All right. That's enough of that. Okay. Let's give the folks what they paid for, I guess. Check my Discord real quick. Okay, cool. You gotta love when you tell, like, a friend, you know, that you're, like, gonna be busy for a certain amount of time, and then they respond with, well, funny you should say that, I'm gonna be busy for this amount of time, and you both kinda know, you know, there's still shit you wanna do after you're both not busy, that's why you're bothering to tell each other. I don't know, it's a good feeling. Anyway. <laughs> for... <laughs> yeah, okay, let's just do that, actually. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you paid the money. You, you know, this stream should be about whatever you want it to be, right? Uh, oh, shit. Where's my controller? Oh, here. Got my old man hands. They need a controller. Okay. So... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, since you're here, uh, of course he did. Of course he wanted Gardevoir. Oh, thank you. See? Fake streamer. Okay. Yeah, this is why I need you here. To just like, you know, rename the channel. Get you in there somehow. We've seen the quality of the content when you're not here, you know? Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, oh yeah, the uh, strawberries. That was the other big thing is I had like a little moment where, you know, I was like, oh, 
I'm not gonna be able to buy strawberries. This file's ruined, you know, and I had to like talk myself down just to realize that it's actually the next day. <laughs> R.I.P. Steve. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. I like it. Uh. Fuck. Oh yeah, the strawberry thing. Uh. So. Yeah, I've coined it as the cat strat. I'm giving you credit for the whole, like, save strawberries, or save strawberry seeds until you can plant them later, uh, thing. But, of course, you know, me being me, uh, I love farming. So I, I bought ten, put one in the box, because I, I had a grand, and then, uh, planted nine. That was the other, I guess, most relevant thing that happened last night. It's beef. <laughs> yeah. He was a good boy. But yeah, I've coined it the cat strat because I feel like that's your, your brainchild. I just modify it to where, you know, I buy extra seeds and then save one. Because, yeah, my argument is by the time I get a greenhouse, like why I like it, is by the time I get a greenhouse, I'm probably going to have a seed maker, uh, if not certainly. I'm not sure how the tech tree works, but I'm pretty sure you get it around the same time, at least I usually do. Um, or on the way to, I can't remember. So then you just plant one and you just keep, especially with um, stuff you don't have to replant, you can just print seeds, basically. Cat strat. Save your strawberries for later, or at least one. And then, yeah, my modification, of course, is to, like I said, do the whole, like, plant as many as you can, though, in the first spring, because money. Uh, you know, if Pink Floyd would let me, I'd, I'd start it up right there, but that's definitely going to get uh, struck. Yeah. Yeah, you usually get the ancient seed around that time, too, or at least, again, I, in my playthroughs, do. Which I, I like because, uh, yeah, again, you can just start doing it in the greenhouse, right? No problem. And then if you're going like the, um, what, what should we call it? The, the artisan route, I guess, where you're doing like wines or jams or whatever, uh, it's pretty good. It's... Exactly, exactly. Thanking God that strawberry never wore a condom, right? Uh, yes. But, man, everybody loves beer. That's why the keg lifestyle is good. Personally, I don't... When I do kegs, I prefer to do, uh... Wine. Because, again, everybody loves wine and it's more valuable. But beer's faster, so... Got me barking. <laughs> Why are you barking, bro? <laughs> what the fucking little Nas reference? Was that? Was that it? Was that too far? I just been listening to Star Walking a lot because I'm a League of Legends fan, so, and I'm one of the ones that isn't super salty about it. Most people are, uh, unfortunately, but yeah, you know, I kind of see where they're coming from. It was a weird fit to be honest, but not as weird as people make it out to be. <gasps> Ooh, let's go, cheese cauliflower. Uh, what was I actually wanting to do with the rest of this day? <sighs> oh, the cake's got you barking. Yeah. I would, I don't know, this is my bias probably, but personally I don't like doing, um, I find that wine's also better, not just because of the money, but also because um, the timing is a little more convenient in my opinion because of how long wine takes, like I like that it takes a little longer. <laughs> 
No, he's the CEO of Worlds. Get it right. <laughs> but yeah, basically. Uh, Art, does he does he say League of Legends? I thought he said Worlds. I thought it was Worlds, but I could be wrong. Fuck, I'm gonna go watch that trailer again at some point now. It's gonna it's gonna not me. I feel like in the back of my head of like. Was it a misquote or was I wrong? I'm just kind of wandering aimlessly because I have almost no energy left for the day, so... Don't expect, uh... Don't expect me to know what I'm doing right now. I'm the CEO of Unite. Alright, nice. Oh, man. You ever just randomly get all sweaty? <laughs> that sentence, what the fuck? Road rage is getting mad at people for leaving their lane. I fucking love that. God. Yeah, I was thinking about it actually. But then what would I what am I doing with this energy that I'm getting? I could go to the mines, I guess. Oh, you want seaweed? Bruh. Oh, I don't have my rod, I can't. It is, like, a really free 60 gold, to be honest. Uh, I should talk to him, too. Yeah, cool. Ooh! Sorry, Linus. Mine now. <laughs> yeah, of course, you're excited about the mines. I'm not as good at the mines as you are, though. I'm not, like... I'm not as particularly driven. I get sidetracked by my greed, you know? Ooh, I'm totally giving that to Linus for some, some random day, probably. Although, ooh, or should I take it down to the mine as something to eat? That's actually a, probably a good option. Although I have, I have berries. Yeah, I should give it to Linus. That'd be a good gift. I want that bait. Even though that scene is so... Yikes. Uh... Yeah, I don't need... Well, no, I do want the hoe. I don't need this. Oh, it doesn't swap. For some reason, I thought it swapped. I know, right? <laughs> did you see the, uh, did you see the melon doodle, by the way? <laughs> I guess that's another thing I, I should probably give you due credit for is, uh, you named the audience. I feel like, because, yeah, I, I will never, like, st stop thinking the whole get out there, you little melon thing isn't funny. And I've just decided that, like, my viewers are melons. Like, that's what they're called now. That's just, they are the melons. And then I went as far as to, like, doodle, like, a concept of, like, a little melon person. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to, go to Stats for Mods. It's, it's super cursed, but it's a concept. <laughs> and I was I was actually joking with Noob and I'm like 
well, it's not really a joke because I'm totally going to do this because this is totally a thing I would do. Or I'm like, well, now there's going to be a D&D &D race, the melon people, you know, like the melons. Uh, because I'm doing my uh, Spelljammer campaign, and uh, and I was I'm just coming up with you know all sorts of random space stuff, uh, and I love the idea of um, you know not every race you come across in space is like super humanoid and super like complex. Like some of them are just going to be little like silly idyllic people that you land on their planet for you know whatever reason and uh what they need help with might be like super mundane like the the lore i think me and noob were talking about was like they live on a planet of uh giant cats that uh try to smash them uh and yeah the joke was like you know you might have to negotiate peace between the giant cats and the the melon people uh Eventually, I'm gonna. That took so much effort for me to even get that idea onto paper. Um, <laughs> I open a can of worms. I'm no, <laughs> no, 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 no. They don't have. They don't have any sexual characteristics. They're. They're. They're not like that. Yeah, no, no. They. They. They are very different. They grow out of the ground. <laughs> No, no sexualizing my melon people. <laughs> That's why they're not getting put on the internet, you know? No. Because, um, yeah, the, the concept is, like, based off of, like, I don't I mean, I don't know how much you follow VTubers, but, like, uh, Ina has the Takodachis, which are just little, like, squid people, basically. And then, uh, like, any, any sea-based VTuber is, like, they probably have shrimps as their, uh, you know... And then, uh, or like Callie has the dead beats because she's a Grim Reaper, so her audience is personified as like skeletons and like street clothing, you know? So I was like, okay, you know what? I've been calling them melons. Like, I love the idea that every viewer could like decide what they want their melon to look like and then either draw it themselves or commission it, you know? Like, the one I drew had like a hat, right? Like, but that's not necessarily like uniform, like, uh, you could you could have like all sorts of glasses and like I started actually sketching out um, like a Hunter S. Thompson inspired one because I just thought that would be funny. It's not going well. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, that took so much focus for me to just do that like pathetic concept, you know, like. Um, but I have been trying to work on my like physical art skills. Um, I've actually been I don't know he probably didn't tell you this, but I've been tracing because uh, I had those stickers printed out of a uh, cool story Taj and I've been tracing it repeatedly I bought a thing of tracing paper and I'm just tracing it over and over and over again and then trying to see if I can freehand it like what aspects that I, I become able to freehand and I'm like getting there uh, but it's a long road obviously like because my brain just doesn't doesn't really work like that per se but I'm trying to retrain it a bit But yeah, I wanted to get a concept down, and then eventually, you know, when I'm a little more confident, I, I will either myself try to do a, one that I'm excited about or, uh, you know, commission it, obviously, right? Like, um, there's always that option, which is probably the route I'm going to end up on at some point. But because the whole goal of, like, the tracing isn't to become an artist myself as much as it is to be able to make better concepts for when I work with artists, right? Because um, I've noticed that that's a weakness. Uh, I, like, if our interaction taught me anything, it was that, like, I I, I was, a, like, apparently aware that uh, you had a, a difficult job, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, it's kind of a waste, but that's okay. Um... Yeah, yeah, obviously. Well, but I think it's different. I think I think it depends. Fuck, I need to get out of this mine. I, I think it depends because I there's there's people who, for lack of a better term, like see the world in shapes, and then there's people who see the world otherwise, right? 
and that's kind of what I'm trying to do is like teach myself through re repetition how to see in shapes because I don't. When I see things, I see like words and feelings and ideas more than shapes. Yeah, no, I and I I understand. Like I would rather you, you know, obviously just keep doing art for me, but obviously, you know, real life comes first, right? What shape are you? Uh an ampersand? I don't know. Is an ampersand a shape or a character? Although rhombus is pretty good. I just wanted something uh, almost as obscure. At least you're parallel. Fuck, I might not make it home. This is classic me, though. I forget which way is better. I think south. But yeah, I know. I, I do freehand stuff, but the problem with freehand stuff is I don't get far. Because the issue with uh, freehand is, like, it's so easy to fuck it up, and then I don't know, like, I don't have the, the mental facilities to, like, figure out, you know, how to backtrack, right? Like, um... Like, I, I don't... I don't know how to, like, how do I put this? Like, rectify it when I make those, like, weird mistakes. Because um, I don't, you know, to me, it's, it's like, uh, it's just alien, I guess. Like, it's, it's not how I'm, I, I'm, I'm trained more, like, through my personal, you know, interests and choices to, like, try to convert things into concepts more so than, you know, images, right? And yeah, it's just so hard for me, because I can picture images mentally, and I can explain images to people, but if you tell me to start drawing it, I don't, like... Because, like, um, growing up with more artistically inclined people, it, it was really, it was really apparent to me when I would watch them draw, because it was, like... I wouldn't understand what's happening, you know, like it, it like it, it was, uh, it was like magic almost where it was like, he'd make a circle and then he'd make a, a square, right? Like, and then you, you would start like seeing the edges get reworked and, you know, uh, nuances added to the shape. To me, it, it looks like a bunch of, um, just like unrelated actions, you know, but to him, uh, I'm speaking about my buddy who actually is an artist, um, he has a YouTube channel, actually. Ryan, is it Ryan Tate Art? I think it's Ryan Tate Art. I don't know. I'll figure it out and, you know, shout him out some other time. But, um, where, like, when he explains it, it's actually that it's all, like, one consideration, right? Like, if he wants to draw a person, he's making a circle for the head. Then he's making, you know, um, he's making lines to show, like, the proportions. And then he's, like, um... You know, he draws a box for the body, but then turns the box in, the top of the box into shoulders, right? Like, it's a lot of, like, drawing something as a concept, erasing, and then adding to it. To me, that's all just, like, I get it. I get that it's a thing. But then when I try to do it, I, I just get stuck. Like, I just sit there and I'm like, I don't know where to go, you know? If that makes sense, I don't know. It probably doesn't because I feel like you're you're probably more on his line of um, looking at the world, and and you know people are different. That's just how it is. Like, I'm definitely more right brain, but that's not to say that I I'm not inclined to art. It because like there is a bit of it, but it's just different. It's I've always liked words more, right? That's always resonated with me more. Is like telling stories and coming up with new ideas uh, related to things. Um, I don't know. I'm probably belaboring the point here, but... Yeah. I 
I mean, that actually does sound kind of interesting. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. That sounds kind of interesting. I, I, I give it a chance. Uh. Yeah, we can definitely talk about it. Because I, I wouldn't mind getting better, and I definitely have, with what I've done, like, progressed in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, that's the problem, is there's a lot of, like, anxiety and, like, self-loathing that comes in that ruins it pretty fast, right? Like, it, it's, it's like, oh, this looks like shit, like, and I don't even know where to go next, right? Like, so, you know. Um, and, and... To a certain extent, yeah, suck it up and keep going, and I do as much as I can, but you also have to, like, acknowledge the fact that, like, I am a human being, like, at some point, like, I have to, you know, consider my mental health, you know, like, if something is making me miserable, like, I should probably take a break from it and, uh, you know, do something else for a bit. And I've been doing that and coming back, and uh, I'm definitely seeing progress. Don't get me wrong. I don't think I'll ever be, like, that full-on, you know, oh, yeah, like, look at this sick art. Um, if so, great, because I'll just start chugging out comic books, to be perfectly frank. Um, but ah, I don't... Th <laughs> that's the thing. I don't think that's the thing. I think I am... I'm kind of half the, the equation, you know, like... I'm great at ideas, I'm great at rewording things, I'm great at, like, flowery language or c concise language, depending on what you need. Um, I'm great at, like, coming up at thing, like, coming at, coming at something from a new angle, right, that makes it different, right? Like, yeah, well, but... <sighs> That's the thing. Um, yeah, and, and like to an extent, you get better if you keep at it. But um, I do think that there's also like innate skill, right? Like that's a thing. And man, if you don't like eighty percent of what you do, I can't imagine because you're you're so talented. Like that's crazy to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, what hope is there for me, right? If you struggle with confidence, and I feel like you're a much more confident person than I am, frankly, <coughs> excuse me, like, fuck, you know, what hope is there for me? Obviously, at the end of the day, it has to be about the passion, you know? And that's my thing, is like, beyond concepts, I'm, I'm really not trying to be an artist. Because um, there's so many other things I want to do in life, too, right? Like... I have the problem of wanting to do everything. Um, so I am kind of a master of none in a lot of aspects, right? Um, and I don't really mind that because my take is always like, I just want to make cool shit. Um, and I think having a lot of, like being a threat in a lot of different ways, at least to an extent, does allow you to make cool shit, right? Actually, ah, I should keep the green bean. I'll give her this though. How'd you know I was hungry, you fucking weirdo? Ugh. <laughs> okay, okay, don't weaponize my belief in you against me. Jesus. I don't know what got into you today, but you were fucking on one. In the best way, but Jesus. No, I, I think I am... To go back to... like I, Or to put the nail in the art conversation, I think what I am is more of a collaborator. Like, I think... I think I would be excellent if I, if I was just better at, you know, converting my ideas into other people's head. Like, um... Because that... Because I've actually tried to collaborate with artists before you, and where we would always hit, like, the wall is, um, you know, we just kind of stopped reaching back and forth. And I would notice that once the narrative was fleshed out, I didn't have a lot to do, right? 
Um, and so if I had been able to like do more concepts and stuff, I could have at least like been getting my visual thoughts onto the page so that the artist could keep, you know, iterating on their drawing and it would have helped the, the motivation, right? We would have kept each other a little more motivated, but of course at that time I was like, no, 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 I'm the writer, you know? And we were literally trying to turn like a one page short story into a comic and had like multiple meetings and it was going great. We had sick concept. It was going to be like Sin City, uh, but kind of like my take on it. Um, but yeah, we just, you know, just died off. So that's what made this decision come along is like wanting to get my VTuber model eventually. Um, I'm going to have to find a way to make better reference sheets and stuff. Um, and no, I have not seen Chainsaw Man. Sorry, I wanted to finish my like soliloquy before. I, uh, <laughs> I answered. Ah, oh, I don't have coal? I've been looking at it, but I'm in a really weird spot right now with, like, entertainment. Like, there's really only, like, two things I want to watch nowadays. Like, in theory, I want to watch all this other stuff, but then I, like, put it on and I just, like, I, ju I just don't. Like... In the time it takes to get through a theme song of most things, I lose interest. Um, Cause that's just like, it, it's just kind of a, a thing I'm going through, uh, you know, mentally right now where it's just like a malaise, I guess, is like probably the best word for it, I think. Um, and yeah, Chainsaw Man is one of those things where like everybody talks about it and it, it looks definitely like like something, but I don't want to like watch five minutes of it and then, you know, never go back. I think it's, it'll be more pressing if I don't watch any of it, but it's in my zeitgeist, right? Like, um, <laughs> hold on. I got to catch up on your messages. Yeah, no, see, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. like, I, I remember when I wanted you to draw my D&D &D character, it was like I started throwing all these details and images at you, and I realized, like, that was a mistake. What I should have done is I should have done a terrible, please don't ever show this to anybody else, like, mock-up of him, and then let you go nuts, right? Like, that that would have been the right methodology for sure. If I, if I wanted the product, which I did, <laughs> you know, obviously... Um, that's what I should have done. That was the highest chance of success for it, right? Um, outside of me being able to draw myself, obviously. But that, that's not, no. I'm, I'm too old, you know, <laughs> to, like, suddenly be the artist I wish I could be, right? I think I can get closer, obviously. Like, it's never too late. But again, like, I'm also learning HTML right now because I, I want to get into web dev. Um... I'm also designing games. Uh, you know, like, I, that's my thing. I have a lot of stuff going on at once because I like it that way. Because um, I'm just into stuff, right? I don't know. Oh, please. You made that for... that. Oh, oh, you're just trying to trigger me. You just like triggering me. Why are you like this? <sighs> I mean, I say that, but I like it, so... God, you just like just really love getting my goat and it's so easy that's the thing I'm usually a lot more mm, stoic on stream <laughs> especially but also with other people but yeah you just you just have a knack you, you know right where my goat is and you you never cease to reach for it it's it's actually impressive yeah, it's a mental illness, Ubu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't trust things in Q packages, guys. You know, like they're they're probably evil. Grabbing <laughs> goose, that that, woo, that one. Yeah, bye. Not intentionally, of course, but it just that's one that sounds 
in the realm. <laughs> it's funny though. <laughs> Although, yeah, yeah, grabbing for the goat doesn't sound much better, I guess. <laughs> All animals have been ruined by uh, sexual innuendo now that I think about it, you know? They're just all sexual now. Every animal is just a sexual reference. How did we get here? Uh, what do I want to keep in here? I guess I'll just keep random sea stuff that's not worth selling in here. The hog. Okay, that one is definitely you buy. That that's not even subtly you buy. That like the hog, I feel like is a just a well known. Yeah, like thoughts on. Yeah, okay. Keep going. Tell me more. Wiglet. Uh, Wiglet. Oh, is that like the? Is this like some new? Diglet, are are you referring to just a innuendo for a fera giraffe? What? Okay. Oh, is that? Are those real? Okay, I saw like air quote leaks, but I'm so cynical when it comes to like Pokemon leaks that I just assume. It's all fake until uh, Dusty tells me otherwise. I'm going to be real. Because, like... Huh. I don't know how I feel about them, because when I looked at them, I was not, like, in the frame of mind to think that it's real. Um, Because, like, the Diglett's, like, blue, isn't he? Like, isn't, isn't that the whole thing? Like, if it's what I'm thinking, it is. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know how to put this. Like, I am, I am just such a hardcore Gen Oneer that, like, new Pokemon, I'm usually pretty eh about. You know? Oh, okay. So what I saw wasn't it. Okay. Yeah, I'd have to look that up, um, because I don't think I've seen this then. Like, I, I'm... There's some newer Pokemon that I'm like, oh, cool, but usually I'm just like, eh. Like, I'm happy that they're still, like, continuing with Pokemon, because it's one of those things that, like, will always have a massive sentimental, like, piece of my childhood wrapped up in it. Um, but... Yeah, like, I... I am of the opinion that... It feels less original now than back in the day. And again, that might just be my bias. So yeah, a lot of these designs, I look at them and I'm like, yeah, sure. Kind of looks more like a Digimon to me. That tends to be my take. Um, But there are exceptions. There are new Pokemon I like. I'm trying to think of an example of one I'm pretty excited about. Uh, hmm. I mean, obviously, I'm always excited when Gen 1s get, you know, more love. Like, updates or new evolutions or whatever. Alt versions. Like, that's totally cool. Uh... Like, when I was playing the card game, there were some newer Pokemon that I was coming around to, but I am just spacing, because I actually quit... I rage quit the card game. Uh, went back to Hearthstone. Because I have to be playing a digital card game, because I want to be playing real card games pretty much all of my time. Uh, so I have to get my fix somewhere, because, you know, my friends aren't the best about playing with me. That is... Not... Except Noob. Noob, actually, it's my fault we don't play more cards. Um, so, yeah, I'll own that. Because um, he was actually really great to scrim with for a while there. It was so cool. Um, 
but then I kind of fucked up my setup, and it's more on me than him at this point. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's like pulling teeth, getting people to play card games and IRL, right? Um, so I have to settle for digital, um, even though, eh, I used to be like, yeah, you know what, digital's better, until I actually held real cards in my hand again for the first time in a few decades, and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. That's why this is addicting, because it's like the coolest feeling in the world to be, you know, Yugi in your own, in your own real life, and like, pulling the heart of the physical heart of the cards right like when you draw the card you need um physically it's just a whole nother rush um i can't i i probably can't do it justice explanation wise but yeah that's the closest i'll come um but yeah ah man this is bothering me because i i know there were pokemon i was like oh i like this one in the newer gens but Typically, you know, I'm like, eh, Gen 1 superiority, like, and not because, not from any objective standpoint, by the way. Like, I am the first to be like, this is bias. Like, th this is 100% my bias. I swear this stream's just gonna turn into me looking at Pokemon soon, because, like, ah, it's really bugging me. I think, yeah, what I, what I usually like in newer gens is, and again, this is like bias and like probably in no way explainable or quantifiable, but like when they feel to me like Kanto Pokemon, like Pumpkaboo is an example of like, it's not a Kanto Pokemon, but it's something that if it had come out in Gen 1, I would have been like, yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I could, I guess, yeah. There's, there's some free content. You just send me pictures of new Pokemon and I react. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's a podcast, if anything. <laughs> All right, yeah, sure. Speaking of Pumpkaboo, give me some cursed Pokemon copy pasta. Probably gonna have to run to the restroom when I sleep. Never fails, I get to the bottom of my cup of tea. Alright, one second, I'll be right back. Walk ten feet. Okay. It is done. Okay. <clears throat> I just realized something actually. I forgot to turn my preview off. Okay, there we go. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Get out of here. No, you didn't. <laughs> there is a wall between the microphone and me peeing.
shenanigans. But hey, Ryan Reynolds did it on Hulu, okay? Don't be prudes, Twitch. Actually, streamers have totally done that. Uh, what was it? Sneaky did. Sneaky definitely did. Are those real? I might leave them and try to get Megas. Why? There we go. You did not. If you heard it, then that's impressive, frankly, because... Jesus. How many White Claws have you had tonight? Oh, she wants... Oh, yeah, it's Jody, of course. She wants Cauliflower. Yeah, sorry, Jody. I don't like you that much. Uh... I should totally... Uh... Drop out and plant some shit. Probably potatoes. Yeah. I see. No, the streams are literally next level when you're here. Like, don't don't get it twisted. Like, I you, this is there is no way to overhype your impact on my stream. Like, I am max sincerity lately. Do not give me a chance to gush over like people I appreciate because I will just go fucking ham. Recent events have put me in a situation where I'm like, okay. You know, don't let people think they know how you feel about them. Beat them to death with your opinion of them, right? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, whew. you know, I gotta, I gotta save what, you know, little social credibility are not, that's not right. Social credibility isn't the right word. What am I trying to say? Like, um, social connection I have left with the world because like, I'm, I'm like a few burn bridges away from literally just being a hermit. Not just like figuratively being, or like kind of being similar to a hermit. Like literally, you know, just letting my beard, you know, never trimming my beard again and like piling up newspapers and, you know, being eaten by my cats or something. I don't know. This, this is, this metaphor is getting darker as I go, so I'll probably just stop it there, but. Like, uh, you know, I am, I am too good at uh, alienating people, so I've realized that uh, I've just got to be sincere as fuck. Like, like, just like, because I, I, that's the thing, like, uh, not to get too deep into it, but like, I feel like, um, I don't put this. It's easy to basically not. To not, to not express things because, you know, it's like too intimate or something, but that's kind of a misnomer because what ends up happening is people just think, you know, you're disassociated, right? Like, and then what happens invariably is they read into things stuff you never meant to be there, right? Like, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm literally just like, you know, captain recognition lately because it, yeah, it, shit's rough. Like shit's just rough. Like I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's given me this like vast appreciation for the fact that, um, 
I do need that support, and I was lucky to have it. Uh, but like that. <laughs> Please. Uh, yeah. What affection? What is that? You know, like. Uh, you know. Uh, I give Taj Dad hugs every once in a while. Um, specifically any time, um, you know, we separate long term. Just because, you know, it's it's just one of those things where it's like, uh, especially after losing a parent, but I was actually like this before, um, you know, mom passed. It, it's just, to me, it's like, ah, fuck! I would rather, uh, well, too late now. It's already done. Um... I'd just rather have it, you know, on the record kind of thing. Um, but now I'm like, you know, you, I, you should probably do that in friendships, too. Is, like, uh, just, like, make sure people know you appreciate them before, you know. Because you, you just don't know. You just, you don't know. <laughs> Thank you. So it probably feels, like, overcompensating, and, yeah, a bit. Um, but... I always kind of wanted to be like this to an extent. It's just that um, I kind of was afraid of not seeming masculine enough, I guess. Um, which I've kind of gotten over that recently. <coughs> Recent revelations have uh, changed my perspective on that whole thing. Put it like that. Like, I don't worry about being conventional as much anymore. Which is nice. It's liberating. Ooh, let's go! Oh, that is... I, I know it's just a bass for people that are, like, regular fishers. But for me, that's just a lot of work I don't have to do. That That's my take. Oh, shit, I was going to give her cauliflower, though. I got too excited. Also, one of my favorite songs came on, so... Got a little high there. Yeah, well, I don't know. You say that. Uh, <laughs> I think... I, how to put this? A lot of women say that. <laughs> I, I think it's easy to say that until you realize the, the other thing that comes with it, which is... Um, Yeah, again, if you believe that, great. <laughs> I'm going to be sus. I, I'm sorry. I, I love you to death. I'm a little, I'm a little sus. Because, uh, you know, I've heard it before. Because, um, like, you know, it, it's great to be like, yeah, I wish guys were more, you know, in tune with their feelings and stuff. But then you watch him cry all the time or, like, um realize like uh that someone like that probably mm, has their reasons for being that emotional i guess if that makes sense but i don't know you know what do i know i'm just a fucking bouncing cartoon character on a screen uh voiced by a human being but, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It definitely is not a, like, straight-up benefit all the time. Like, sometimes it's probably better to mm, be able to... How do I put this? Be able to guard your hand. Because um, I think... The issue I run into is being too earnest. Yeah, yeah. No, that's how I feel about it. But I think that that's easy to talk about, right? Like, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Like, it's like... I don't know. I've been there, right? Like, where, um, you know, she's crying and I don't really... I don't really get it. Um, and it's like a weird, you know, 
dynamic to have, but I, yeah, like you're saying, like that's that's love, right? Is like putting that to where it doesn't matter um, whether you buy it, right? Like it's it's just about supporting the other person. I mean, I don't blame you. That sounds like it's worth crying over. Um, yeah, like. But I'm I'm just a little cynical to all that because I've had I've had a lot of encounters with like people say they want emotional honesty and then you get really frank with them and they're just like, uh, you know, why are you being like this kind of. Feeling. I don't know what I want to do today. I'm just rambling. That's probably a big part of it. I dropped a grave on the floor and realized the string I'm hanging on is so thin, bro. It takes so little to cry. Oh, I think you're the one that needs forehead kisses at this point. Jesus, girl. Yeah, and you know, I think you just got to have your your support. If you ever need that, you know, you know how to find me. Um, because, yeah, like, that's... Oh, I was going to do mines. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I'll do mines. I don't know why I even have my water uh, fucking thing. My, my water pail. Yeah, that, that's been the big thing with me lately is like, you know, when life feels like a mean kid with a magnifying glass. Nice! The deal with it. Um, man, that actually would be a sick emote in and of itself if like the glasses actually lined up and stuff. Like, that's something worth uh, doodling. Um, but yeah, when life is like a mean kid with a magnifying glass, having those people just be like, hey, I'm crazy right now. Can I just tell you why I am like unconsolable until I feel consolable, you know, like, and that's what made me this, like, super, like, you know, uh, like, I've gotten to the point where, like, my closest friends, I'll, I'll literally just drop L's on them all the time, you know, like, yeah, dude, I love you, I just want you to know that, you know, like, and it, it's, it's not to be weird, like, it, it's literally just, like, <laughs> you deserve appreciation for supporting me emotionally, right, like, whereas, like, I used to feel like that was, um, probably not appropriate, Oh, and yeah, while I'm just rambling all over the fucking place, um, cause I didn't mention this earlier, but yeah, a, a big thing about the tracing that I never got around to mentioning was there are, there are alts of the emote I want, and obviously I know that you're not in a good position to make more, so my thought, my hope was that I could at least like mock up versions to speed the process along, uh, like, for example, like, you know, like there, right? Like making a deal with it version of Taj wouldn't be that hard actually, because you're already pointing fingers, just put like sunglasses on them. And um, another, the initial thing I want is um, I want the regular version, not Cool Story Taj, because everyone assumes the character is supposed to have an afro because Cool Story Taj is the best one in my opinion, right? So I use it as my representative, but the character concept, actually, the reason why he has an afro in that emote is because it's referencing Bob Ross, not because the design, you know this, obviously, because, you know, we were, you were in the, the discussion, but other people, like, literally knew, was like, wait, he doesn't have an afro? And I'm like, no, what? And he's like, you know, but, yeah, it's fair to feel that way because <laughs> everybody really only sees Cool Story Taj, right? Um, so, like, the original... Uh, the Eevee. Oh, the Eevee isn't going anywhere. Uh, it's just that I... The Eevee is ya boy, which was a different concept I had for a stream. Uh, I like stream persona. And it, it's mostly just a Pokemon meme. Um... Because I was joking about in Let's Go Eevee the the noise it makes. Yeah, boy. We were like doing that at each other and stuff, and I was like, "Oh man, that should be my stream persona." Yeah, boy, Eevee. Like, 
and it, you know, over the top YouTube creator impersonation, you know, like, uh, like, Hey, it's your boy EB here with another game review, you know, like that kind of riffing was happening. And so, yeah, we became obsessed with it. Oh, the one with the cat ears. Oh yeah. No, that one's great too. Um, and I think in a world where I have like 2D avatars and stuff, I would totally have an alt with cat ears. I am totally, totally the type of person that would do that. And I'm not going to pretend like I'm not, <laughs> you know, like. You sent them in Discord. What? Let me open this. Yeah, no, those are great. Those are fucking fantastic. And that's the thing. I want a version. So Tajik Sight is like so close to what I would want my uh, initial VTuber model to look like. Obviously, without the star eyes, like that would be a emotion he could show. But yeah, I would love like just, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and that's the thing. Like, that's what I'm hoping to do is eventually work up a version that basically bridges Taj Excite and Cool Story Taj and takes out all the art stuff from Cool Story Taj because, like, you did such a good job with all the detail. Like, the details are fucking amazing in that, and I show people all the time, and I get all sorts of comments. I actually have um, the sticker on the back of my phone, <laughs> so everybody at work knows it's my phone, you know? <coughs> oh, excuse me. But, yeah, um, obviously, you know, Outside of the Bob Ross references, that's not part of the character. Um, but yeah, it because I actually, I mean, I'm not going to get too deep into it. Um, but there is going to be like a basically a lore around like Taj is not me. He is me in a sort of digital medium um, f for reasons. Um, I'm still fine tuning that aspect, so that's why I don't want to leak anything. But yeah, when I actually debut debut, there will be a lore around like who is, you know, Lil Taj, basically. I do like the bird. Um, and if we wanted the bird to like show back up, I wouldn't be offended. It's just, you know, that was such a cute little detail. Um, that I think you even forgot you put in, if I remember right, because I think I remember you being like, oh, yeah, there's a bird. <laughs> like, after I showed it to you after, like, a year or two. Ooh. Oh, wait, I already have this, don't I? Yeah, never mind, I don't care. Although, it's probably more valuable than the quartz, isn't it? No. Oh shit, nice, floor 10. Oh, actually, I don't have time. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, when I go to sleep, I'm probably gonna take a little break. Um, I actually probably should have ran some ads by now. Although I think it automatically does it, so. Sorry if that's uh, interrupted the flow. I normally watch that, but I've been so wrapped up in our conversation. Which is honestly probably made for better content, so. Eh. Am I that sorry? No, not really. It's gonna be scuffed. The, the current motivation is just to make sure I'm doing it. And then from there we'll get better. I'm not gonna make it. Fuck! Oh, ho, 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 let's go! Sleeping on the floor. Oh, good. You haven't got any ads? All right, cool. Yeah, sleeping on the floor like a G. Not really.
More like an idiot. They couldn't make it home in time. Uh. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should. I'm actually going to run ads, but I doubt they'll hit you. Because it's 10 minutes out anyway. Wait, you subbed? Oh, that's right. You have to tell it to announce it now. That's why I didn't announce. Right? I mean, thank you for the sub. But why didn't it... What the heck? I think it's because you have to actually do the little announcement thing. Oh, collab cam. Okay. But I just want to go to my... Yeah, there we go. Come on. Okay, here we are. Recent events. No, it just has you donating. Hmm. It's weird. <laughs> well, um, one thing you could try is reset uh and then it'll say it'll ask you well i i think the way it works now is it doesn't actually automatically announce it anymore you have to tell it you want to share it because i think it's a feature for lurkers basically you know what i'm saying because like i've had streams where like i'm not i'm there to lurk but i do want to sub and I want to hear what they say about my sub, so I hold the an announcement till I come back when I can listen. If that makes sense. Oh man, I got something caught in the back of my throat. I can feel it. <clears throat> Choking back tears here. <clears throat> Don't mind me. That's my secret cap. I'm always choking back tears. Also, I am sweaty. Like, not trying hard, like, actually is just sweaty. I don't know what the fuck. I used to talking to girls, you know, makes me so nervous. <laughs> That's not true. Uh, well, in person, it would matter. But uh, at a distance, no, it doesn't really matter. Like if at work a uh, female coworker comes up and talks to me, I'm just like, uh, you know, it's like that, um, it's like that Izuku, uh, moment in when he first talks to Uraka. Except it doesn't matter. It, like, it's not in the sense of like, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> you no, know, no, you're like, you're in orbit of the boys, but you're, in, I don't know. I don't I don't consider you one of the boys. You're you're your own like uh category in and of yourself. You're you're far too complicated to be reduced down to some other category. Was that really three minutes? God damn, that went fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it's more just like, why are you talking to me? Like, I don't know. Like, what? What does she want? You know, <laughs> give me. Just give her what she wants. Run. You're a petri dish. Full on mold. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like uh, we're definitely on the same wavelength of self-deprecation, which is probably a big part of our chemistry. It's 
we're just like, oh, I'm just a stinky pile of mold. And other people are like, what are you talking about? Like, I think you're pretty cool. And we're just like, nah, I'm gross. Like, just stay away from me. Like, <laughs> do yourself a favor. <laughs> All right, be right back before I start again. Oh, shit. I am so glad that I had the cap on. I just knocked a bottle of water over. And it was, like, on top of my books. Oh, God. I would have been inconsolable. But quick, quick bathroom break. I'll close the door this time. Uh, it, you know, it wasn't that heavy a stream, so I think we're safe. <laughs> well, I always tell people the, the vibes are moldy. No, you're not that bad. You're just complicated, that's all. Which most of us are, so it's fine. At least you're relatively honest about it, you know? Uh, no hands were involved. I I am uh, I am blessed in that. I don't really necessarily need to involve my hands. I guess my waistband made a little contact, but uh, I'm not gonna be feeling that up. So, yeah, no, I yeah, I'm wearing sweats, so it's just you know the stop and flop. I guess I'll call it for lack of a better term. Uh, I hate it. I said it, and I hated it as soon as I said it. <laughs> the stop and flop. Ugh. But yeah, um, I guess if you're not super familiar with what I'm referring to here, um, if you're wearing, you know, sweats or basketball shorts as a dude, you, you just kind of, like, put your thumbs, you know, into the top of your, your boxers, and then you just flip it, you know? And you just, you just, you just like loop it under the package and you just use that, you know, you just hold on to your waistband. You just prop it up on that. And then, you know, you run your stream and then you, you, you flop it back in, right? Like you just, just scoop it back in. Like when you use your shirt to like hold a bunch of stuff, have you ever had to do that? Like the like you don't have anything else, but you got a bunch of like I don't know, uh, you know, small objects. So you like kind of hold the bottom of your shirt to make a little little pouch for it. Yeah, it's it's the reverse of that, right? You just kind of scoop up, flip it out, do your thing, flip it back in, no problems. Oh, actually, before you flip it back in, you probably want to like shake or whatever, dab. What? That's a whole nother realm to get into. But yeah, there you go. There you go. Real informative stream right there. You're learning now. <laughs> Penis pouch. Yes. Yes, you're getting it. You're getting it. Pretty much it, yeah. One of the few advantages of uh, external genitalia, I guess. Because there's a lot of negatives, I'm gonna be honest. It's almost exclusively negatives, frankly. You're like, why isn't this somewhere safe? Why is it like right where all children want to run through my legs? Like. No, that's that's different. Like, what you're describing sounds like some like you know consent required type of shit. But look, I'm not here to judge. Oh fuck! I don't have room for anything. Ugh, I need a bigger bag.
You're really uh, getting your miles out of those those emotes. I respect it. Feels good to see him. That also is like a I made it feeling actually uh, just like quick hit on that is like seeing your emotes actually get used by people. It's such a surreal feeling. You're like oh this stupid thing from my brain that you know I got an artist to make look really cool and uh, now other people are using it to express themselves like that's so neat. Yeah, I figured it was coming. <laughs> You're right, and I love you too. Have a good sleep. I'm probably going to end it after this day because you were kind of the, the motor. Actually, nah, we're just going to stop here. Yeah, I, I got shit I got to do too anyway. I went an hour and a half. I feel like I've done what I came here to do. Oh, yeah, thank you for being here, actually. It means a lot if you're still here. It's just a totally different energy, so... Being really earnest again, and, uh... Yeah, don't be a stranger. And, uh, to the rest of you, who are slightly less important than Kat, uh... <laughs> Uh, except if Shinny's watching on the bot or something, because I know that sometimes they do. Uh, you're right there, you know, uh, for obvious reasons. The motor in the boat. Stop it. I'm trying to outro. Stop being charming. I'm outroing. Uh, uh, fuck. Yeah, everyone else um, appreciated. All attention helps. Check out the fucking emotes like Cat. Be cool like Cat and uh, sub so that you can get this fantastic art for yourself. Um, and what else? Uh, well, I mean, follows always help, obviously. Oh, I'm so bad at being a content creator. I don't remember all this stuff. Uh, <laughs> thank you for coming to the stream. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow Discord. It is at AO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is cat stream. This isn't my stream. Fuck. Uh, uh. All right. Love you guys. See you next time. Definitely won't be for a few days. Sunday at the earliest. But yeah, cross your fingers on that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. How I feel, and so on and so forth. Stay gold. Bye.